Chris, I'm hearing lots of rain and lots of snow, but there's not many, very many degrees coming up. What, how will this compare to last month's snow? Well, last month's snow is going to try to rival it. A lot of different changes coming in this week. We started out in the 60s today, but that is going to be changing. Here are the 60s that show up really nicely for highs. 64 here in Nashville, 63 in Louisville. Heck, even 76 down in Jackson. That's close to 80 degrees. Talk about feeling like spring, but in Indianapolis, you can see the change that is on the way as their highs only reached 40 degrees. Now, right now, we are in the 60s across much of the Commonwealth. 61 here in Bowling Green, 61 in Nashville as well. But when you head up to Bloomington, you see the cold front showing up as temperatures only head to about 42 degrees. Now looking at the bigger picture, we do have those warm temperatures still around 71 in Tuscaloosa. But like I said, that is rain and warm enough, pardon me, to support a lot of the rain that came through. We had some sleet and freezing rain earlier this morning, but temperatures have since warmed up for a lot of that rain. And now the cold front is beginning to show up very nicely across the Ohio River. And that is the cold front that's gonna be a part of ushering in the changes and the reason for the winter storm warnings that we have here in pink. Significant snowfall is possible in those areas. Winter weather advisories and the purples down in Nashville and even these blues around Knoxville winter storm watches and a lot of these have become winter storm warnings. They have been upgraded as time has went on and it's a large chunk of real estate. We're going all the way from Oklahoma City up to the coast of Maine. Those areas will all be impacted by wintry weather and the light blues across the northwest. Those are wind chill advisories because temperatures are certainly going to be dropping over the next couple of days. Now here's the big picture. We see that cold front moving in. It shows up better on the other side of the screen. So let me move over there. There's a winter storm going in through the north and east, but our cold front is starting to move into the picture right now. What that's going to happen or what that's going to do is that's going to move on through and the colder temperatures should come in from the north and west. Now that's going to stall out to our south and once that stalls out, colder air should begin to filter in. Here you are tomorrow at lunchtime. That winter storm is going to start to move in. Rain is going to transition over to sleet and even some very heavy snow and that's going to be something that leads to significant accumulations across the area. Five to ten inches is a good bet here in Bowling Green, but let's say you're traveling up to Lexington, 10 to 13 inches, 8 to 12 inches in the Louisville Metro. Now further south down towards Nashville, four to six inches, but it's still a very, very significant snow event that will likely cause some high impacts for travel around here. 41 degrees, your low for tonight. That's probably your high tomorrow as well. Heavy rain comes in. I can't even rule out a crack of thunder or two as those temperatures are out of the south or winds are out of the southwest at 8 to 14. Now tomorrow we have rain that goes over to snow. Significant accumulations are likely with winds out of the north. Then your five day, we have the snow system come in. Thursday, we don't get out of the 20s. Check this out. Friday morning, four degrees and that's being optimistic. We could be very close to zero degrees, but on the bright side, we do warm things up Saturday, head things into the forties as well. And there is some sunshine that comes into the picture. So winter has beat us up for the last couple of weeks, but we can hope that things are finally brighter at the end of the tunnel. Back to you.